Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizzers.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to Flickr.com, which is basically the the photo website that lets you that you can either upload your own photos to or share uh, or use other people's photos to share on your website. All right. So here's the first thing you need to understand about Flickr. All right. Before we go into this, there's one core thing I want you to get from this. First of all, how to find photos that you want to share, and number two. When you fought, when you find a photo that you share, how to be in proper compliance legally and with Flickr's community guidelines to actually share that person's photo on your website. All right, so there's two things: uh, on how to find them, and number two, how to uh, be, how to give proper attribution and credit to the creator of the photo. All right, and that's an important. These two are very important, especially giving proper credit. If you don't give proper credit, you can get in some trouble. All right, so anyhow, here's what you want to do: go to Flickr.com. And basically, just get used to the site. Check it out. I would sign up for it, you know, for sure, because you could upload your own pictures and everything to the site, especially through Posteris, as we'll talk about in other tutorials. But um, here's the one thing you want to do: um, you want to first read where um, what Flickr's rules are about credit, just to try to just to get an understanding of what the stuff means. Go to this section of the site here called Flickr.com forward slash creative commons the way you see it spelled here or the way you see it spelled here but just all lowercase with no spaces in the URL so flickr.com forward slash creative commons and basically read just get used to just read it a little bit just so you have a general idea of what this stuff means but because there are there is some photo licenses that you can't cannot there's some restrictions on the photos pretty much you know meaning like can you can you like uh, do can you add stuff to the work can you can you change some of their work? Do you have to give credit on all the photos and, and all that kind of stuff? So um, basically, just get a good little feel for this. Um, my favorite thing, my favorite thing uh, that I like to do is actually use this website called CompFight.com. With this website here, you can search Flickr photos and specifically search the ones that are that are within the guidelines of sharing. So here's if you go to CompFight.com spelled exactly as you see here in the corner compfight.com all lowercase with no spaces spelled just like this if you go here you'll be on a page that looks just like this do the following right here where it says creative commons make sure it says only alright and when it says only now you could search Flickr alright you can search by tags or you can search by text it's up to you just give it a go and give it a try I also and um I by the way I also have a tool on your website that does this by the way let me just show you that real quick and then we'll get into the actual finding photos and then giving proper attribution now on the in your admin panels you have a tool on this and I actually have a whole separate video tutorial showing you this though the tool is called here it's called insights this lets you search from your WordPress panel images on Flickr as you'll see so let's just say I typed in homes this will search images from Flickr that you can uh, share on your site as you can see here alright so uh, basically though check that out that's a separate video tutorial check that one out that one's called how to insert Flickr images in your postings or something like that just find it you'll you'll be able to find it in the um, along with this video so anyhow let's go back to our page and let's now search a, pit, uh, a property or a home so let's just say real estate home just to see what the heck comes up now it's gonna search Flickr and it has all these here so let's just say we like this one up here. It's the first one. We clicked on it, and now it's going to bring us to this page here. All right. Here's what you need to keep in mind. Not every. The first thing you need to do is scroll down on the photo, and look here for the license of what they're saying. So see right here, it says you can. It's pretty much saying you can share it. Some rights reserved, but it's pretty much letting you letting you share it. All right. So um, right here, the sharing rules are attribution and no derivative works. I recommend you kind of get a little bit like I said go to flickr.com forward slash creative commons and get a feel for what that means if you get if you if you get what that means if you just reading that it says attribution no derivative works this is it's this license here which means attribution means you you could let you could post it on the site but you had to give someone else credit I'm sorry you had to give the author credit and then no derivative work no derivative derivative work means you can't add something to it you can't claim it as your own you can't add extra stuff to it and uh, you can't like just read it right here you can't just give 
um, you can't add variations to it and give it out as your own. So just just showing you one little one, and I'm you know don't want to get too technical and all lie on you, law you know attorney on you, but basically just be aware of their license and follow what their rules are. So now let's say this is a photo you you actually want to share. Well, here's what you got to do. Let's actually get to the point of putting this photo on your website as a teaser, and then on top of that, let's talk about giving them proper attribution. So here's what you do: click, uh, click on the right click on the photo, and then put view all sizes. Uh, do, pick one, so medium for instance. Now here, when you're at the photo part, you could right click on it again, and then right click and put copy image URL. If you're using Internet Explorer, you may have a different button. Let me show you that button right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on copy image URL, and I'm going to open Internet Explorer though, just to show you what yours may look like if you're using Internet Explorer. All right, so here's Internet Explorer. If you're using Internet Explorer, you're going to have to right click, put properties and then you'll see it come up here under address URL right there so just you're gonna to wanna to copy that code let's get out of Internet Explorer the worst browser in the universe now let's go back now to our blog post now let's add this to our teaser blog post right so here's our test post test post here and we'll go ahead and add all the content in a second but remember if you're adding photos from another website that's not hosted on your own what you have to do is go to post image and thumbnail and if you don't know how to do this check out the video tutorial on post image and thumbnail and go to thumbnail image and then put it in the line called thumbnail image URL we'll call this uh, nice property view I'm just that's the thumbnail alt text meaning this is the text you're telling Google what the pictures all about so after doing that let's just pretend we have some content here real quick Now we have our content, and let's go ahead and publish this post now. Once the post is published, let's go to our home page and refresh the home page. So here's our home page. We're going to go ahead and refresh this home page now, so that way we could see the post. And here it is. There's our there's the image from Flickr that we just that we just found that we are allowed to use. But there's one thing missing. When I click onto the post, when I click into it. The, obviously since the picture's not here we still have to give attribution we still have to tell the we still have to tell your visitors on your website that that who that photo belongs to so here's the best way to do that all right go back to your admin panel and here on your site at the end of all your blog posts this is how I like to do it I like to go to at the very end you want to make the final line of your entire posting your attribution credit line and here's what you pretty much want to do for it every time you want to write the following teaser photo and then attribution teaser photo attribution and then colon by and then the person's name the author's name so here's what you gotta do go back to that Flickr photo so here's the Flickr photo right let's go back to the photo itself you could get to the, to the live page of the photo meaning just hit back or click on photo here and this is the live page of the photo what you need to do is two things. You have to click, you have to link the actual photo, this page that the photo is on, you have to link this page as well as the author page in your attribution. So what we want to do is click here, click on copy, and go back into our posting. And so we want to highlight teaser photo, and now we want to make this link to that specific page, which is the full on page of this of the photo. You don't want it linking to here you don't want it linking to this page or to the individual picture itself you need it to link to the actual photo page on Flickr so make sure you're on this page that shows their name here or their uh, picture and their name alright and we're about to do that second part so you take the URL and highlight your the, you know, the word teaser photo and then under link just uh, click on the link button here and now enter your link URL as target put open a new window and then title put Flickr photo or anything like that whatever you want to put just make sure it's just Flickr photo something like that and now we do attribution by what you gotta do now is get their get their name and their their author name and their actual link to the profile so see here property snaps you want to get the URL to this to this author you want to right click put copy 
and then get his name. So property snaps. So now we're going to write by property snaps exactly as it looks. Exact, exactly as his name actually is, property snaps. You see that name? And it's actually lowercase, so I actually like to just make it just like it, it is on Flickr. And now you're going to highlight his author name. You're going to click on the insert link button once again, but this time the URL you're going to put is the URL to his actual author page. And you're going to paste it there, and then put open a new window, and put Flickr author property snaps and now you're gonna insert and then after doing that I like to just hover it all and I like to make it italic just so you could tell it's like at the end it's attribution in some way so after doing that you want to hit update or just publish if you do it right the first time and after updating After updating, you can now go back to your post, hit refresh, and now you properly attributed the photo that you used as a teaser to the proper person that you got it from. All right, so that's the way you give proper attribution. I'm gonna take a couple more minutes just to show you kind of the the Flickr tools. Just to I might as well show you right here on this same tutorial. Um, I talked about this tool called Insights. What you want to do is click on images and let's just say we typed in the same thing. Earlier on we typed in real estate homes, right? Let's search now and let's see what photos come up. So here's some photos. Notice how the picture is still here, the same one's still here, right? Well basically you could choose any picture that comes up here and here's what you're going to have to do though. When you click on the picture, you're going to have to do the following. Since you need to give attribution to this picture if you're going to use it, you need to click on the photo click on the link button to get the link to the actual photo page and now scroll down and do the same thing so teaser photo let's say if you're actually using or you're gonna you're gonna say yeah actually this photo here you're gonna scroll down maybe you can do another attribution you know blog photo attribution because now we're in the blog photo by and then what you want to do is highlight blog photo or just by it depends you can highlight blog photo like we just did click on the link put the link to the photo there insert it and now when you put by here's what you're going to have to do you have to find the author of the name of the person that's the author so do the following first update your post or actually you don't need to update it actually you could just open a new window and type that URL that you're copying and pasting as a link anyhow into your browser and the link that I'm talking it's from the same person coincidentally but you know now we could just go go back to his profile take his URL up here and now inside the inside the admin panel under by we just put his name again property snaps but this time we're going to highlight the text click on link make it go to his author page and then do the same thing open a new window put Flickr author if you want Flickr author and then put his name and then now insert and then that's pretty much it now when you click on update what you've done is you've properly attributed the teaser photo which is on the home page that shows up as a teaser and then you've properly attributed here it is the home page picture that shows up as a teaser here you've properly attributed it and on top of that you've now properly attributed the posting you the picture you put in your blog post by doing both teaser photo attribution by the person blog photo attribution by the person all right so follow this rule it seems very complex cuz i was doing it very slow on this t on this tutorial but just keep in mind in a simple nutshell you have to give you have to link to the actual photo that the Flickr page is on in your attribution and then you have to link to the actual author's URL so when I open this teaser photo up and the author page up notice how it's gonna open the actual Flickr page and then the author page so you have to do those two alright if you have any questions go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and ask me there alright 
Well, good luck and have fun.